Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another YouTube video. I, I initially started to record this video uh, in my office so you could have the cool stuff behind me, but, um, you know, just noises and stuff going on. I really kind of felt like it was better to come out here. So this will probably be one of the last times I record a video in my storage room, but uh, for now it will do. But let's go ahead and get into today's video. So you probably have seen it all over the internet, and of course you know by the description and the title card and everything. Nintendo's basically come out in their recent shareholders meeting, and they basically confirmed that the Switch successor, Switch 2, NX, whatever you want to call it, the next Nintendo system, and I'm, uh, I'm just assuming that they're going to go off of, you know, naming it, showing it off, showing some uh, some titles for it, like the launch library and all that stuff. And that they're going to do that by April of 2025. It's been officially confirmed. Uh, they said they'll show it by then. Meaning that they could show it before. But they did say that it's going to be by the end of the fiscal year. Which means that March 31st, 2025. That's when the fiscal year ends and April starts a new fiscal year. So that means that we are now officially in the last year of the Nintendo Switch. And we already know from Nintendo that we're going to get a Nintendo Direct in June. But it's not going to show this next console. They said that that's going to focus on the latter half of 2024. And I'm going to most likely do a video closer to that date about what I want to see come from the latter half of 2024. I still think that there are a few games, one in particular that I'm sure everybody knows, that hasn't come out for the Switch, that is supposedly coming out for the Switch still, that I think they're going to announce and make a big deal out of. But again, only time will tell because June is still a while away. So with that Direct being weeks away, I'm not really going to worry too much about it right now. But I did want to just bring attention to anybody that wasn't already aware that Nintendo has basically confirmed that this next console, right now, in a, ter in a ter ter Sorry, I stumbled my words there. Um, but until we get the official name of it, it's just currently referred to as Switch 2. But the next generation Nintendo console officially announced by about April. Now, I'm still thinking that they're saying that just because they're probably going to do the same thing that they did with the Switch. I've been predicting this for years. I said it last year. I believe I said it last year that if they're going to do another system, they're probably going to launch it at the beginning of their fiscal year to try to make the most money that they can out of that year. So it wouldn't surprise me if we did like what happened in 2015 when they showed off the Nintendo Switch to begin with. And like December or January, we have another presentation showing off this console. And they say we're going to launch this in April of 2025. Would not surprise me at all. But what do you guys think about that? Because... That's a long time, and Nintendo did say that this was going to be a long console cycle. And I believe this is going to be the first time that they've gotten... Well, no, probably the older generations might have gotten 10 years or so out of them. But this might be the first time that we've gotten this long of a Nintendo console life cycle in a long time. So that's really cool that they got a lot out of the Switch. I, I, I'm really surprised... Um, and amazed by that. But if I can just throw my frustrations out there a little bit, I do think that this has been something that should have happened last year. Even this year. Like, this should have been the last year. But I get it. There's probably still a few stranglers out there. A few little uh, stragglers, I mean. A few games that are still being developed and knowing Nintendo, they probably want to make sure they have a really great lineup 
when they show the next console. They don't want it to be like a Wii U situation all over again. They don't want it to be like a lot of these consoles where they show it off and it's really like one game or two games. And you still have to wait another year or two before you get the games that you really saw shown off for the console. So I get it. And personally, I'd like that. I would love it if we got it shown off. And when it launched, we had three or four good games to like really pick up. But again, only time will tell on what they have lined up. I have my theories on that too. And that's probably going to be a video coming down the road. I've kind of already spoken a little bit about the games that I want to see uh, for the next Nintendo Switch, but I might just revamp it up and do it again and maybe revisit the subject. But also, just the, I'm mostly just excited the fact that we have finally gotten to this point where Nintendo is finally ready to talk about the next generation of their systems that we're going to finally get to see it Maybe get a name for it. But if anything, I'm hoping that it's really just an iteration. Like they've been saying. Like going from the DS to the 3DS. Just the same thing, but better. You know, instead of having a D-pad, they went with a circle pad for the 3DS. So rather than having like the regular joysticks, maybe we get the, the better joysticks that you get on like the Pro Controllers, you know. Maybe we get hall sensors to where they don't drift. I already talked about in the previous video about all the stuff that I would like to see come from it. As far as, you know, having sensors in the triggers for uh, rumble stakes. And you can go check out that video. I'm not going to go into all of it here. But I'm just saying, improvement of life, basically. Just improve what you've already gotten down because really the switch is the perfect idea for nintendo it merges their home market it merges their portable market into one console and people love it it's a hit for them so i really am not surprised that they're just going to do it again but what are they going to add to it again only time will tell but that's all that i got for you today guys not too much and I tried my best to sort of be long-winded to make this at least eight minutes long. So, that's all that I got. But I do appreciate you watching. And I would love to hear what you think about the subject. If you have anything that you, of course, do want to add to it. But, otherwise, we are basically a year. And, granted, they're saying by then. I'm still thinking it's before then. So, really, we're within about... 10 months, I, I, I would guess, from this thing being shown off and this thing finally being in our hands and in the mark and in the market and we're playing games on it. Like it's, it's really exciting to think about. I love, love when we get new technology and I love when we get like even the software updates for me to go around and fiddle around with and change the settings on and stuff like that. Just really exciting stuff to try. But that's going to be it for, for me, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next YouTube video and have yourself a great rest of your day.